In this video, we are going to talk about what all we do in order to get our solution extremely productive. Now, I ask your precious seconds to listen to me and definitely you will learn out of it. Stay focused and follow this video till the end. And let's begin with today's topic that is on regressions. Now, we are going to take the deviations from the assumed mean. In my earlier video, we have taken the deviations from actual mean here. See here. If the actual mean is a fraction, this method is used. If you take a mean, if you calculate the mean, if it's a fraction, which is not a whole number, then we take an assumed mean here. So in this method, we take the deviation from the assumed mean instead of arithmetic mean. In my earlier video, we have taken the mean from the arithmetic mean and now we have to assume certain mean as the arithmetic mean is a fraction, which is not a whole number. See here. Let me show you the difference between the actual mean and the assumed mean. So, these are the regression equations of x on y. See here, for x on y, for the assumed mean, we have to start with x. See clear? That is x minus x bar is equal to, see here, r times of x on y, sigma x by, this is a sigma y into, now we have to end up with y, that is y minus y bar. So, this is a formula according to the actual mean here. So, or else it can be written as x minus x bar is equal to, this is a sigma x into y. So, this is x y by, in the denominator we have y. So, we have to take sigma y square into this is y minus y bar. So, these two are the formula which we have learned for regression equations of x on y. So, these are from the actual mean, from the arithmetic mean. Now, coming to assumed mean here, same as it is assumed mean, the regression equation on x on y. Now, I am going to show you, see here, we have to start with x. See, this is x minus x bar is equal to this is bxy into, now we have to end with y, that is y minus y bar. We have to start with x and we have to close with y here. So, this is bxy. So, what is this bxy? See here, the bxy is nothing but, it is so simple here, bxy is equal to, see here, in the middle part, this is xy here. And here, the, this is y square. So, it is an extension part. So, here, this is dx into dy minus so here this is a sigma dx into this is a sigma dy by n so here there is a multiplication here also there is a multiplication but with respect to dx dy so here xy dx dy so here it is xy it is dx dy and the extension part here is sigma dx into sigma dy by n by see here x on y in the numerator there is y here same sigma so, this is dy square minus extinction part is sigma dy whole square by n. So, this is the formula for assumed mean. So, in between we have to substitute this value here and x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar and bxy can be calculated using this formula. See here, this is for actual mean and this is for assumed mean. And same regression equations of y on x. As you know that y on x for the actual mean the formula here is we have to start with y that is y minus y bar is equal to r times of this is y on x sigma y by this is a sigma x y on x and we have to close with x here that is x minus x bar or else we can write the same formula as in terms of sigma as sigma xy, the product is sigma xy by. So, here in the denominator, there is x. Therefore, we have to take sigma x square into, we have to close with xy. So, if it is on y on x, we have to start with y and we have to close with x here. So, here x on y is nothing but, see here, y on x is nothing but y on x. And here, that is the formula here is we have to make a product and this is sigma x square. So, here also the same cases, there is a product in the numerator and this is sigma y square here and here there is x square here and, and see in the assumed mean, we have to write the same on y on x. So, the same formula, this is y on x. Please remember, we have to start with y. That is y minus y bar is equal to b y on x 
into we have to close with x that is x minus x bar and what is the formula of this b y x same as this one see here b y x is equal to here there is a product here so here also i am making a product with respect to dx this is dy and there is an extension part here that is a sigma dx into this is a sigma dy by n so this product is individually making a product as sigma dx into sigma dy by here there is x square so same i am making with dx square minus extension part here is sigma dx whole square by n so this is the way we have to remember and the bxy value should be calculated and placed here and therefore we will be getting um, the regression equation of y on x for the assumed mean so these are the formulas here and now we are going to solve a problem related to actual mean or assumed mean here so assumed mean so here we have to assume certain mean when we have to assume mean when the actual mean is a fraction here see the first question here is the price indices of a cotton and wool are given below for 12 months see here for 12 months n is given as the 12 months of an year obtain the equations of lines of regression between the indices see here the price of indices of cotton we have to take it as x and wool we have to take as y so these are all the x series and these are all the y series and now we have to calculate the lines of regression there are two lines here and calculate the regression equations see here for calculating the regression equations we need the table here see here this is the table these are all the price indices of cotton name it as x here so this is the column here so after making a total this is 1004 and now we have to make a mean out of it x bar is equal to this is sigma x by n so this will be 1004 by 12 so here for 12 months it is given so 100 by 12 here now see this will be 1004 divided by 12 the value here is 83.67 if you close it this will be 83 point this value is a 67 clear so this is an arithmetic mean which is a fraction which is not a whole number then we have to shift to the formula assumed mean so we have to shift to the second formula here so after getting this one we have to assume certain mean so the nearest value to 83.67 is 84 now i have to subtract each and every value of x from 84 so this will be small dx so here 78 minus 84 is minus 6 77 minus 84 is minus 7 85 minus 84 is 1 88 minus 84 is 4 87 minus 84 is 3 and so on you have to fill this column and this column is nothing but small dx so which is equal to minus 4 and we have to make the squares out of this dx square is minus 6 square minus 7 square 1 square 4 square 3 square minus 2 square so this is the third column the first one is the price index of cotton x so these are all the x series so we have to frame the total mean here so this is a fractional part and now we have to assume certain means so assumed mean is 84 as this value is nearest to 84 and i have subtracted each and every value of x from 84 this is the second column we have to make the squares out of this and the next thing here is the price index of wool now the price index of wool is name it as y here so here these are all the y values here now here is the total that is 10 this is 1061 now we have to make a mean out of this y bar is equal to this is a sigma y by n this is 1061 by 12 see let me show you this is 1061 divided by 12 the value here is 88.4 so this is 88.4 so this is also a fraction arithmetic mean we got as a fraction and now we have to use the second formula and we have to assume certain mean here so here the nearest value is 88 now from the y values we have to subtract 88 and this will be small dy and so here the nearest value is 84 this is small dx so here 84 minus 88 is minus 4 82 minus 88 is minus 6 82 minus 88 is minus 6 85 minus 88 is minus 3 now we have to fill this column and here we have to make dx square 
So minus 4 square is 16, minus 6 square is 36, minus 6 square is 36 and minus 3 square is 9, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 and so on. We have to fill this column and we have to make an addition out of this. And the next thing here is dx dy. So important here. What is dx? So this table is dx and this table is dy. And now we have to make a multiplication and this will be dx dy. So this is minus 6 into minus 4 is 24. Minus 7 into minus 6 is 42. 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. This is 4 into minus 3 is minus 12. So that you have to fill this column and we have to make an addition out of this. This will be sigma dx dy. This will be sigma dy square and this is a sigma dy and this is sigma dx square and this is a sigma dx. The table is also so simple. The first series is x. We have to assume certain mean and we have to subtract the mean value from each and value of x and this will be dx and this is dx square. Now we have to take the y series and we have to calculate the mean here. So here the nearest mean is 88. We have to subtract each and every value from this so we have to subtract 88 from each and every value of y and this will be small dy and we have to make a squares out of this and now we have to multiply dx dy and you have to make totals out of this. So this is the calculation. So as the fraction is, as uh, the assumed mean, so the mean value is a fraction. So we have to take the second formula here. So and now we have to calculate the regression equations. So, these are all sigma xy dx dy is 200 and see here 287 sigma dx square is 488 from the table and sigma dy square is 365 see here 365 and sigma dy value is 5 and sigma dx value is equal to minus 4. So, here this is dy square dx square dx dy and here the n value is equal to 12. So here the mean value is equal to we got as 83.67 and sigma y value is equal to 88.42. So these are all the values which are needed. So now the regression equations on y on x and x on y. First we are going to calculate x on y. So as this is a fraction, so we have to use this formula that is x minus x bar. We have to start with x here. x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar. What is this bxy? bxy is nothing but we have to make a product sigma dx dy minus individually we have to make a product sigma dx into sigma dy by n by sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square by n. So this is so simple to remember here. If you practice definitely you will get. What is sigma dx dy? So sigma dx dy value is 287. So this is 287 minus what is sigma dx? This is minus 4. Sigma dy value is 5. This is minus 4 into 5 by n value is equal to 12 here. And the next one sigma dy square. So sigma dy square value is 365 from the table minus. So here sigma dy. So what is sigma dy? 5. So this is 5 square by 12 here. So if you calculate, if you use your calci and calculate, this will be minus 20 by 12. So minus of minus plus 12. So the value here is, I'll show you, this is 20 divided by 12. The value here is 1.667 here. I have made here. The next one is 25 by 12. So this is 25 divided by 12. The value here is, this is 20.83. So this is 2.083 here. So if you add up and subtract this one, the value here is exactly 0 0.795. So these are all the calculations which are not in the textbook. So here I've made for you and this is BXY value. Now we have a formula here. So which formula here? The regression equation of x on y. So this is the value here. This is x minus x bar. So what is x bar here? x bar is 83.67 here and y bar here is 88.42. So y bar value is 88.42 and x bar is 83.67 and bxy value is equal to 0 0.795. So here if I multiply here the same thing if I multiply this will be y times of 0 0.795 minus if you multiply these two this will be 70.2. 2939. So x value is equal to if you send this minus 83.67 to other side this will be getting addition. So here this is the value here. So this is the regression equation of x on y. So clearly I have uh, given each and every step here where in the textbook uh, so many steps are deleted.
and see the next one here is from the table so all the values are noted here and now it is a regression equation on bionics so here this is the formula here so we have to start with y so this is y minus y bar is equal to this is b x y x into x minus x bar what is b x y so we have to make a multiplication sigma d x d y minus individually we have to make a multiplication sigma d x into sigma d y by n by this is a sigma d x square minus sigma d x whole square by n so here sigma d x d y value here is 287 so this is 287 minus a sigma d x d y so this is d x d y minus 4 into 5 by 12 by sigma d x square d x square value is 488 minus sigma d x what is sigma d x sigma d x is minus 4 this is minus 4 whole square by 12 so have made all the calculations here so this will be 20 by 12 minus of minus plus 20 by 12 is nothing but 1.667 this is a 16 by 12 the value here is this one so this will be the value that is 0 0.53 uh, 5.31 so sigma yx value is 0 0.59 so here is the formula that is y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar regression equation of y on x here so here y bar is nothing but see here this is the y bar here that is 88.42 after substituting what is x bar here that is 83.67 after substituting b y x as a 0 0.59 so now we have to multiply this one that is 0 0.59 into x and if you multiply this one this will be 49.3653 and if you send this 88.42 to other side it will get addition and therefore this is the final value so this is the regression equation on bionics so this is how we have to solve Hope you all guys understand. So each and every step is crystal clearly explained and why we have to take an assumed mean, when we have to take an actual mean. So what are the formulas of actual mean and uh, assumed mean? Um, what are the regression lines of X on Y and Y on X and clearly explained. And this is the topic from regression. If you really understand and if you really learn from this, Please pass it on to as many friends as you can. That is the greatest help needed to this channel. Spread the knowledge and go to the playlist. So many videos are uploaded for your preparation. And stay connected for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you very much.